and uh, thank you for coming. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, our installation, how it kind of got formed, uh, what are some offerings that we have, uh, what you can think about uh, as uh, what's going to happen here in 2019, and then uh, we're going to have a panel uh, to answer some uh, questions that were uh, submitted uh, online and uh, or via email ahead of time, and then uh, we'll uh, have a time where you can uh, ask, ask questions uh, from uh, the audience as well. So. Um, what I want to start with is a start at the top of what is the strategy of the Department of Defense and what is the strategy of the Navy going forward. And how does that apply to us in uh, Commander Naval Installations Command for our base services, things that we provide and offer. So on the left hand side, uh, last spring the National Defense Strategy was uh, signed out by Secretary Mattis, um, keying in on three important things. Lethality, partnerships, and uh, improving our processes within the department. Um, he named five different adversaries uh, that we uh, need to be aware of. A rising China, Russia, Islamic extremism, as well as North Korea and Iran. So as we think about this lethality, what uh, Admiral Richardson did is he re rewrote our maritime design for maritime strategy uh, recently, and it was uh, released in December of this year, of, uh, sorry, 2018. And uh, he tried to weave in some of those uh, those key terms and key elements uh, that are in the Department of Defense strategy. So lethality is important. Processes are important. So as we think about how does that apply to us and some of the base services and the things that we offer, we need to realize and understand that the funding that's coming uh, to uh, the tip of the spear, to uh, building ships, building airplanes, uh, restoring readiness within our force is where we are spending our money uh, within the Navy. And hopefully that's trickling down to the tenant commands here on the base. So what is Naval Base for Turk County? Uh, we are many things. We have property all the way up uh, in Fort Hunter Liggett. We have uh, property out on San Miguel Island, which is owned by the Navy. Uh, and uh, antennas littered all over the uh, Southern California coastline. Uh, predominantly, though, we are Port Wainini, which was the uh, construction, construction battalion center uh, that consolidated with uh, Naval Air Station Point Magoo uh, in um, the uh, uh, 2000s. So what happened was the two bases uh, consolidated under one command, that's uh, Naval Base Ventura County. In 2004, uh, San Nicolas Island was added to the installation and uh, we provide base services for all of those uh, uh, three facilities. Who are we? We have over 80 tenant commands on Naval Base Ventura County. We're home to the three big warfare centers that the Navy has. We're the largest employer in Ventura County. There are 20,000 people that work on these three installations. We inject $2 billion a year into the Ventura County economy. Uh, the Navy is the single largest employer, higher than uh, any other industry, including agriculture, uh, in uh, Ventura County. We maintain over 1,600 facilities that have uh, people uh, living and working in them. And then uh, we are uh, the gateway to the sea test range, a national range that is uh, uh, to the south of us, uh, into the sea test range. It goes uh, 65,000 acres of, uh, of RDT&E uh, space, with San Nicolas Island being in the center of that. We're huge environmental stewards here. We have over 4,500 acres. Of salt marsh, uh, Southern California salt marsh that uh, we maintain and we watch over uh, several uh, endangered species and make sure that those encroachment issues, the environmental concerns that we have, don't encroach on our mission and maintain them so we can do the testing, the readiness, the flying, the port, and all the things that we do. Port Wainini, the home of the West Coast Sea. We're also home to NCTC, where we train, uh, have an A school and a C school. Uh, we're home to the uh, uh, NOSC in Ventura. We have over 800 uh, reservists that come every two weeks and drill on uh, Fort Wayne. Uh, we also have NRL. We're 
have the Marines, uh, Marine uh, Weapons Company that uh, is stationed there, and then uh, our two big civilian tenants are uh, NAVC and uh, NAVFAC. Here uh, at Point Magoo, our biggest tenant is uh, the uh, ACC-COM log wing. Uh, we have uh, a platform transition that they're going through right now, uh, the Test Wing Pacific, as well as the Navy's first uh, Triton Squadron, VUP-19. We're also home to uh, the Reserve uh, C-130 Squadron, um, a uh, UAV detachment, VT um, UAV, and then uh, we're the home of the West Coast uh, uh, Southern California Coast Guard, uh, where they're going to build a hangar here for a permanent basing here in the next uh, uh, three or four years. We also are adjacent to uh, the Air National Guard, so they share a ramp with us, and uh, we uh, uh, use the same runway and the same airspace as they do. And uh, adjacent. We also have a civilian tenant, uh, ATAC. So uh, they uh, take up hangar space and they provide um, target support and food support to uh, to the Navy at sea, as well as they uh, um, knock WD, which is our biggest uh, tenant here, uh, civilian tenant on the base. And, um, we're the home to NAVSOC, the Navy's only UHF SATCOM uh, satellite constellation command. So they fly satellites around the Earth that have direct contact with every one of our Navy ships, and that's all done here at uh, Point of View. Alan San Nicolas Island, uh, this base again was consolidated in in 2004. Uh, it's the home of NOC WD and all of the weapons testing that goes on on the ring. The big shoots off of a ship shoots off of an aircraft, it's tested here on our range. So uh, realize uh, they are very busy uh, every day out there on San Nicolas Island, and we provide the installation services to that. Uh, NAVC also utilizes the range with the self-defense test ship, and um, they uh, are uh, testing the Navy's uh, latest weapon systems out on the range. So we're, we're a command, Naval Base Ventura County, and we're also a provider of services to uh, to our various uh, tenants that we have. We have four fire departments, we have three galleys, we have a humongous police force, uh, we provide every MWR service, we provide uh, everything uh, um, except for Navy Lodge, all the hoteling through the NGIS, and then um, we have all of these things. So when you think of us, you have to think of us as one installation. We often get questions, uh, why isn't this here, why is that there, how come this service isn't there? When we consolidated these bases, we consolidated the services under one umbrella. So uh, we have places where you can go have lunch over at the Bard Mansion every Thursday. Uh, we have a place of worship over at uh, Port Wainini. Uh, we have pools here, we have uh, yurts and recreation areas here that you can use at Point of View. We have ball fields you can use here at Point of View. Our Navy Exchange and our commissary, the two big ones are over, obviously, at uh, Port Wainini. Uh, we have a pool out at San Nicolas Island, if you didn't know that, for uh, our uh, sailors and uh, our civilians to recreate out there. And then, obviously, uh, the beach line here at Point Wainini. So how do you know about all this stuff that goes on? Part of this is for us to be able to transmit to you, to have this information fair in the back, so you can understand how to get and be, have access to these great services that we have. One thing I'd like you to do is pull out your phone and download this app if you don't have it. Uh, so this is in uh, whatever uh, operating system you have. Uh, this app is available on the App Store. There's also a uh, website called the Navy App Blocker, if you don't know about that. So you can go to that and you can get apps for all kinds of installations all over the Navy. Uh, so Navy Life Southwest, Naval Base Ventura County, uh, this app shows uh, movie times, uh, it shows all of our uh, hours for all of our uh, facilities and things that we have going on. A couple of other flyers and things that, uh, how, how do you find out about all the great stuff that we have? So in the back there you've got the uh, community recreation calendar. This says every month of every year and uh, the big thing that we're offering. Uh, whether you're a single sailor uh, looking for a weekend trip, maybe to go uh, snowboarding or skiing up at the Big Bear, or uh, maybe it's uh, uh, New Year's Day, you want to go to the Rose Bowl and buy a ticket to go see the Washington Parade. All of those kind of things and those offerings are here throughout the calendar year. We also have a weekly flyer, so if you're not signed up for this, I highly recommend you. This has every single detail uh, down to uh, auto shop classes, single sailor activities, the base 
a movie schedule, a community recreation, all of the great classes uh, that are being offered on uh, Clean Family Services, how to survive a deployment, how to be a, a better parent, how to uh, have a better marriage. All those great offerings are here uh, in uh, this flyer, and uh, you can find out uh, that weekly. So if you're not signed up for this, please uh, make sure you get uh, on the list for that. So what's happening in 2019? Uh, Third Fleet, which is the uh, major fleet commander down in San Diego, is having a lot of ship visits up here in, in Port Wainimi. We're going to see uh, several great hold ships, more than we've ever had up here in Port Wainimi, uh, to get groomed by NAVC before they go out and go on deployment. We're going to see the first E2D come to Point Magoo in this calendar year as the uh, ACC Com Log Wing starts their transition uh, from the E2C to the we're going to have multiple exercises, something different than uh, has ever happened here at uh, Point Magoo and Port Wanini before. So starting with a uh, uh, solid curtain and citadel shield, which are our force protection exercises in February, and transitioning into the end of February and through March, uh, we're going to have um, uh, a very large contingent of Marines that are going to be operating on uh, Point Magoo and on Port Wanini as they do a major logistical exercise and utilize the fort. We have two open base events every year. Our mud run is going to be in April. Our surf contest will be in July of this year. And then something to put on your long-term calendar, uh, we think in the fall, probably, possibly October, uh, is the date. But uh, we've secured the Blue Angels for our air show <coughs> in 2020. So finally, I just want to reemphasize, uh, we're here to support our tenants, our tenant missions. We are our own command. Naval Base of County, but we are the services uh, that are offered to you uh, here uh, in uh, this area. And so um, I uh, welcome you to ask questions uh, later. Uh, and uh, we're going to set up now for our panel and uh, answer some uh, questions that were uh, submitted ahead of time. All right.